Rock, asked Little Richard, seldom have they ever come across as loud and clear as the bands in the burgeoning homocore or queer punk scene. San Francisco's Pansy Division may be the best known of these bands, having opened last fall on Green Day's U.S. tour, but other acts are already lined up behind them. Music, of course, knows no sexual orientation. Have a look. Have a listen. Hi, honey. I'm homo. Green Day and The Offspring aren't the only in-your-face angst-ridden punkers these days. Pansy Division is leading the charge of a scene called Queer Punk. Someday I'll find a guy who needs something more. But that's not what this kind of relationship is for. The majority of the audience just looks like, what is this? Because it's so in-your-face. And it becomes quite a shock. And then I think once they go home, they're like, okay, what was that? And, I, and then it starts to hit them. And hopefully they come back with a different attitude than they had before. Queer punk is just a general term, but it's basically out queer people making music they love for themselves, for a queer audience, singing about their issues, what's important to them. They're like, right on, we're queer, we're out there, we rock. And that's just what Pansy Division did this past fall, touring with the multi-platinum Green Day. I just thought they were just a great band, you know, they're really catchy. And, uh, I think it, you know, there's a lot, you know, more to, you know, punk rock than, you know, you know, Green Day and Offspring videos, that's for sure. They're lyrics are blatant, just spewing homosexuality, and uh, I think it's great. You know, I think it's there in the future of what's gonna, what, what's gonna happen to rock and roll music. Exposing Green Day's large audience to queer punk should help other homocore bands get noticed, like Chainsaw Kittens and Fifth Column, an all-lesbian band. But more importantly, the music will reach young audiences, gay and straight. Right on to them for at least putting the issue forth to all the kids that came to the Green Day show who maybe wouldn't have had to think about these things before. And maybe they didn't even think that much about it, but it opened up an avenue for communication, you know, for discussion between kids. It's really something that we wanted and we didn't have when we were that age. So now that we're going out and playing to Green Day's audience, which is predominantly teenage, at least uh, who's coming to the shows, um, it feels really good that way. Pansy Division plays Denver on Monday, and they'll have a new album out next week called uh, Pile Up. Check it out. By the way, although Chainsaw Kittens were lumped in with the homocore bands in that piece, the band has asked that we make it clear that only frontman Tyson Mead knows whereof he speaks in that regard. That's about it. For